He's the 11th chairman of the National Endowment for the Humanities and believes that our artists and arts institutions are some of our most important American natural resources. That's right, John Parrish Petey recently visited Colorado and made time to connect with us. We learned about his role in preserving and growing the study of literature, history, languages, and ethics, just to name a few, things that play a role in our everyday lives. In many ways, the humanities are about saying, here is what is vital to us as a people and as a society. When I say humanities, that sounds like a big academic word, but we mean history and library and archives. We give out federal funding across the country, about $120 million a year. And to do that job well means I need to go across the country. It means, for example, I need to be here in Colorado to learn from scholars here and professors here in museums, just to meet with everyday citizens and learn about their communities. What keeps me up at night is the idea that we don't know what we should know about our nation. We don't know, for example, about the founders, about the authors of the Declaration of Independence in the way that generations before us did. I come back to a statement that Thomas Jefferson said, a nation that expects to be ignorant and free in a state of civilization expects what never was and will never be. And so when somebody says to me, why should there be a National Endowment of the Humanities? I say because we catalytically invest in the nation and because we are a wall against that ignorance, we are a wall in support of such freedoms. Across the country, we have these wonderful cultural institutions and they need a new wing. We have a radio station and they need somewhere to preserve their archives. But to give you a sense of real dollars, every dollar we invest federally generates about $5 in economic activity. To the extent that arts and culture are healthy in the state, and they are, uh, it's because somebody at the community level decided this matters to us. We gave a quarter of a million dollars for the online Colorado Encyclopedia. We've invested in Arapahoe language revitalization here. In fact, we gave $2.1 million to the First Nation Development Institute here. They're working with Native American language groups across the nation. So I think that's another wonderful story to have a Colorado organization that's taking a national leadership role in culture. At the end of the day, every state and every community is either looking forward or static. And as in my experience here, as it's a state that is looking forward, but through an awareness of its past.